Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Wimbledon. If you could get 400 likes on the video, that would be bloody superb if you are still enjoying the series. Of course, now, um, as you can see, I'm a lot more light than I was um, in the last few. I managed to sort of get some new batteries for this light. However, I do still think that I'm going to need to get a new one because these will run out so incredibly quickly and I don't have the money to buy more. So, uh, yeah, this month has been one of those ones that's kind of escalated in the sort of severity of the results. Started off sort of, eh, and then it kind of got, oh my god, where are we going, where are we going? It was like a car, a runaway train, in fact, uh, about to go off of a cliff. So anyway, enjoy the highlights. And I will join you guys in a sec for the second leg against Paris Saint Germain. Ooh, looks out wide, and Salvi can keep this in though. Interesting. Ball across. Baltam in off the crossbar, and it is 1 0 to Wimbledon here at Villa Park in round Baltam with the goal. And that will put us back into second place where we belong. Great stuff, guys. There we go. 1 0 to Wimbledon. It's another one of those wins where we probably should have had more, but the most important thing is the clean sheet in the win. Carlos to Masek. So Fabio, can he spin it around the corner for Salvi? Salvi can't quite do that. Carlos is in. Carlos puts it in at the near post, and it is Wimbledon 1, Stoke City 0. And that's a deserved goal, you'd have to say. Stoke haven't really offered a lot so far. 1-0 Wimbledon, great goal. Well, there we go. Wimbledon 1, Stoke 0. Another one of these hard-fought 1-0 victories. We're keeping the clean sheets, but I'd like to see a few more goals still. We with the throw to Mateus. Can he dig it out for someone? Salvi pulls it in. Not quite. Masek. To Salvi again. Back post. Eisler. 1 0 to Wimbledon. We beat Manchester City today, and I think that second place starting to look very much in the bag for us. John Stone steps up and scores. What an absolute joke. And by that, I don't mean it wasn't a penalty because it was. But Anderson had two opportunities to deal with the chance before the ball rolled all the way through, and then the penalty was conceded. 1 1. Well, there we go. 1 1. 93rd minute equaliser for Manchester City. Disappointing. We could have really wrapped up the second there, but a point is still a decent result, I think. Kio to Masek. Into the channel for Mateus. We need that Carlos run. Can he find him? Oh, dangerous. Farmer. Good strike. Salvi on the rebound and he's put it in anyway. Farmer with the initial strike. Salvi follows it up. 12th goal of the season and what a year he's had. Puts us in front here. Uh, Cherry's got some space here. Don't foul him. There we go. Oh my god, this is an equaliser, isn't it? Vieto. Good lord. What awful play to lead to that goal. Great goal from Southampton, but what are we playing at? Come on, guys. To Eisler. To Masek. Will he look over the top, maybe? Oh, doesn't need to. Damn it. Adekanye. Over the top for Roberto Cherry. Out wide for Kent. Oh, come on, guys. Don't let them have another one. This is a goal. Oh, my God. And Southampton now have a lead through an own goal by Brian Gomez. Uh, we've not been that good today. We haven't. Well, we've been really strong defensively for quite some time. But today, and in the last minutes of the last match, it's just gone to shit. Fabio now. Round the side for Salvi. Can he get a cross in? We need a go. We need a goal. Beltam, Fabio, 1-0, Wimbledon 1, Paris Saint-Germain 0. Fabio's not scored in ages, but he's finally got one in the cup. And if we can keep a clean sheet now, this will be a huge win. Anderson, into Salvi as well. Oh, no, now he's lost it. No, Fabio's got it back. In for Williams. Can he find look out wide? Achaba, Baltam. Is there a run being made? Salvi, through for nobody. Fabio's through, and it is 2-0 to Wimbledon in the 90th minute. Fabio with both of them, and that is a huge lead to take back to France, particularly as they haven't scored. Brilliant stuff. Well, there we go, 2-0. PSG actually had um, William Carver House sent off after the goal for abusing an official, so he'll be suspended for the next game, but so will Achibar, which is a pain. Thankfully, Sam Farmer will be back. 2-0, brilliant result. Oh, for fuck's sake, Galfra Scoli, what are you doing, son? Newcastle lead, Irving lopez Menezes. but what was Galfra Scoli doing? That's his one mistake of the season, to be fair. Galfra Scoli's free kick. Baltam! And that is 1-1. Galfra Scully with the assist. Imran Baltam with the goal. 1-1 here at St. James's. Deservedly so. It's out to Masek now. Out wide. Oh dear. Oh good lord. Space now. Lopez Menezes and we've been caught out again. Can Galfra Scully save us? No he can't. It's 2-1 to Newcastle. Mistake and caught on the break again. We've been a little bit complacent today. That's what I would say. 2-1 Newcastle. Baltam in for Masek. He's got Salvi in a great wide position. Can he skin his man? Salvi's passed him. We need a good cross. Baltam again, and it's 2-2. Salvi's cross. Baltam's goal at the far post. Two for him today, and we're back level here at St. James's. Farmer looks into the channel for Baltam. It's his turn to turn provider. Can he get a cross in? He does. Fabio's in there, and it is 3-2 at St. James's. Great turnaround in the second half. Baltam's been superb. Fabio's got three and two. All is looking very good for us at the moment. Bari. Graham, Tatham. This game is not done yet, I sense. There's more to it. Hughes over the top for Newcastle. That's a goal. Because once again, the goalkeeper's angles. They always seem to be wrong in those situations. Will Hughes with the equaliser for Newcastle. Three all here. Well, there we go. Three all at St. James's. Newcastle probably could have won that towards the end. They had some really good opportunities as we went for that game. But we kind of had no choice. Right, guys. 
We're back. And as you can see, uh, we're still sitting second in the league, but we're joined on points with Chelsea at the moment, only there on goal difference. So it's going to be tough to actually get that second place. But I feel like with eight points, uh, sorry, not with Chelsea, with Manchester City, but with that eight point gap, we should be able to get at least third. And that means automatic qualification for the group stages, which is just that little bit of extra useful. Anyway, question of the day. Today's question is this. What is your favourite or favourite movies? Now, I quite like movies. I, I wouldn't say myself a film buff because that sounds pretentious and I don't think that's the case at all because I like some films that people love. I just can't stand. But there you go. Um, like, but then at the same time, my, my favourite movie is Euro Trip, And that's saying something because it's not a very good film, but at the same time, it's also fantastic. Um, it's one of those films that you kind of have a lot of in-jokes with your friends and that's why it's my favourite film, basically. Um, so there's a lot of... Yeah, and the way I came across that, I'll explain it another time. But yeah, anyway, if what's your favourite film? Do let me know in the comments. And if you have any ideas for a question, then drop this in the comments with the hashtag QOTD. That was really quick. Sorry about that. Also, I'm someone asked me about this so when I'm actually doing the Q&A video. It'll be later this week. So if you do have any extra questions you want to throw in as well for that, because I haven't actually recorded it yet, um, do drop those in the comments as well with the hashtag Q&A or something so I know which how to differentiate between the two. So, um, yeah, Roman Masic is the now, now the second highest average rating player in the league. He is dominating that role at the moment. Fabio, as you can see, has got 30 now. Salvi is flying. We're doing very, very well at the moment. Looking at the players I mean, 38 goals and 40 appearances for Fabio is still decent, but I would have liked a bit more uh, from him. He's had a poor spell, but he's come back a bit lately. Salvi's got 12 as well, and also 21 assists from Alessandro Salvi. Eight goals for Carlos, eight assists for Isla. Sorry, eight, eight goals for Isla, seven for Baltam as well. Baltam's really had a good year, considering he's been playing a little bit deeper at times. Um, Isla's got himself 10 assists. I'd like a little bit more from Philippe Isla, but Alessandro Salvi is a monstrous player. Last five matches, it's, uh, well, we can ignore Diallo. Masic is the only one that's above an eight over that period, and you can sort of understand why. Because it started off well, uh, you know, with good wins over Villa and Stoke, comfortable stuff. Then against Manchester City, we were very unlucky not to win it. Um, the late goal was bad defending from us. Don't take that away from it. We were shit in the defence part of it because Matt, um, Anderson had two opportunities to clear a ball where he was about eight yards in front of the defender and he failed to do it. And then he just ended up conceding a penalty instead. Very frustrating. Then against Southampton, we just weren't that good on the night and got caught out with the own goal and the mistakes, basically. It was just one of those things. Um... Paris Saint-Germain, though, pick things right back up. Two goals from Fabio and the red card for Carver Hall in the 90th minute. We've got a 2-0 lead in today's game. It's going to be fun. Um, and then Newcastle was just... Everyone just had a lovely time scoring goals, but no one could really defend all that well. Uh, so a bit of a shame on that one. Now, there's a couple of things I did want to go over. Uh, it's that time of the, uh, with, of the month again where I have to point out that, again, I'm not using a skin because I feel like I say that a lot, but still get asked all the time. Um not using a skin it's a mod that you can get for the face pack that i've got which is the df11 face packs if you want to download it just go to their website and it's on the exact same um page as the face pack so there shouldn't be any confusion about that um, now unfortunately we're lacking a bit in fitness for a lot of these players but we need our strongest team out here today we, we really can't afford to be um buggering about putting you know resting players for a game against psg when i really think given that we've got ourselves a 2-0 lead there's a chance for us to get through and it would probably be sociedad because they won the first leg 4-0 so for me that's in that seems reasonable. Um, so we're going to go Fabio Carlos, Baltam Salvi, Masek, Farmer, Granger, who's been starting to get into the team a little bit more lately now, Planic, Bonnie. Now, that's not a very good partnership, I admit, but with Gomez injured and Anderson's more of a... Hmm. No, he, well, I'm going to put Anderson in instead of Bonnie to start this one. He, he can't start. Um, no matter how... Manquillo and Gafrascoli. I do, I do worry about the defensive side of things. Now, we may adjust this game to be a bit more defensive when we start but I don't want to just go into the game with that kind of mindset because I just feel like that's going to cost us if we go in there and say right we're going to try and defend they're going very narrow who else was it Arsenal played like this I think um or was it someone no I think it was someone in a live com actually that played like this or, no Stuttgart I think in the second leg they played a bit like this so they're playing very narrow through the middle and I do wonder if an immediate attempt to exploit the le the right flank. Just start straight off here. Uh, might not be such a bad idea. I've experimented with a few other things this month. I actually tried Sam Farmer as a Regista for a few matches because I noticed that he's got better technical stats than just for a deep line, sorry, than like a ball-winning midfielder should have. But it just seemed to leave us a little bit exposed and it wasn't really creating a lot for us. So I decided to turn him back onto a ball-winning midfielder just for safety reasons, if nothing else. Right. I, when I see that one, I generally go to, to mixed passing because it generally makes a bit of a difference on that one. Now, I did have some computer issues as well as you guys that follow me on Twitter, which is why I didn't stream last week. Um, but, oh dear, oh dear in me. There's been so much of this, these problems in the defence lately. Um, just confusion and sort of no one really quite knows what they're doing. And that's cost us really early on in this one, which is not a good problem. I, not a good thing at all. So I've got quite a few things that I wrote down based on comments that I'd received over the last thing. Uh, putting the tactic up as well. Um, now, I have said this before, but I'm going to say it again. I put the tactic up when I'm kind of happy with it. So at the end of the season, I'll probably put it up, basically. The reason I haven't done it before then is because if I put the tactic up and then... Oh, I can't believe we're losing here. Oh, no. Well, we are. Um, then make a tiny little change, like I have done. Then 
I'll get people wanting me to put the tactic up again, whereas I'd rather just put up a complete version of it than constantly having to re-upload the same tactic. Um, that, that's the reason I've done it like this, because it just seems a bit pointless to constantly upload the same thing over and over again. Right, we're looking good, and they're... They're doing a lot of long passes. Hmm, okay. We're going down that right-hand side anyway, and I just wonder if dropping back to a normal type of system, turning off the offside trap, we're already on mixed... Uh, and just closing down a little bit less, just trying to keep our shape a little bit more against them might not be such a bad idea for this game. We're getting a lot of possession. We're still on... We need a goal. If we score a goal, then it is really up against the wall for them. Um, because they'd need four then, I think, in this match, if we were to, if we were to score one. Salvi, go on, Salves. Ah, Carlos can turn. Oh, good save from Pedrag Rajkovic. That's a great hit, actually. And uh, we're looking decent, actually. We're matching them at the moment, but they do have the lead. Carlos, can he turn and shoot? Oh, my life. What is he doing? Just have a shot. It's a terrible angle, I know, but... Just have a shot. Carlos has not had a good game so far. Oh, come on. Florenzi, ball in. Duarte, cleared. I don't know why number 23 is rooted to the spot there, but there he goes. He made a good tackle there, but... Hmm. This game is very even at the moment, and I just worry that it's going to be one of those ones where it's going to be even, but we'll end up conceding, like, three goals or something. Um, we just need that one goal. Maybe I should stick on the more um, attacking-minded approach, since we do only need the one goal. It's a difficult one to know what to do in these sort of situations, because it's... Just head it clear. Ah, the ball is just falling to them. And I think that's because we're not closing down as much. And we're slightly deeper. Bernardo. Oh, dear. If we get to half time, I might have to start rethinking this. It's uh, what we're doing here. Because Carlos is having a shitter of a game so far. Um, we do have Shane Williams. I'm going to just put a rocket up them anyway. Because they've not been good uh, in front of goal. And I feel like they could probably do a little bit better there. Um, at least Steve actually agrees with me, to be honest, because sometimes he has some very, very strange opinions. Like, we'll win a game 5-0, and he'll be like, well, there's nothing better to say. I'm starting to think that I should probably just, like, demote him from assistant to, like, I don't know, assistant to the regional manager or something. He doesn't really... Maybe we should start looking at more staff, is what I'm saying. And we're doing well on this right-hand side. And they're getting a lot of crosses in. Hmm. I'm wondering. Okay, here's my theory. Bear with me, guys. Right, we're going to just go back to sometimes on that one. Um... Stick with no offside trap so they can't make those runs in behind. But I'm also tempted just to drop our wingers back and just go to a more sort of 4-4-2 type or 4-1-3-2 type of system just to give us a little bit more um, solidity in those wing positions for this second period of the game. Because we are a goal up. We don't need to be overdoing things. If we lose 1-0 here, we still go through. Yes, a goal would be nice, uh, but I don't want to go to con like counter or anything like that because I just feel like that would invite the pressure. Um, here we go. Gaffra Scurley with a free kick. Anderson and it's cleared. Oh no. Don't let this be the one time that we actually concede from one of these situations. <laughs> we nearly did in the previous game against Newcastle. Malcolm. Don't you dare. No! Oh, for fuck's sake. We, we just seem to have no defensive stability anymore. Like, what is he doing? Just collect the ball. We've had a lot of this and it's such a disappointing situation to be in. Mike on, uh, not Mike on, Malcolm does well. Ball across though. Goalkeeper should be collecting this. What are you doing? Just catch it or just bat it. So disappointing to see that. He's made two mistakes in the last two games that have really cost us results. Granger, then again, a goal for us still wins this tie. I feel. Like, because then they'd need two more. Fabio! There we go. That's a goal for Fabio at the Park de Prince, and that means that PSG now need two more goals against us. Do I think they can get it? Absolutely. But I'm still a little bit worried. Baltam has been superb lately, and it's a great cross from, of all people, Alan Granger puts that into a wonderful area of Fabio's 39th goal of the season. Nothing the keeper's going to do about that one. And it is 2-1 here, which is much more like it. Um... Ruben Duarte, only two key passes out of 25. Changes will be afoot soon. I'm thinking Salvi off and Everton on because he is just so knackered at this point. Um, Fabio's had a... Carlos, I'm sorry. You've been shit. <laughs> you just have. Planich has had a woeful game as well. Do we make a third sub now or do we try and... I don't know. I might just leave that. Planich has not had a good game, but he is, full, he is a lot fitter than the others. And I just wonder if maybe getting Bonnie on wouldn't be such a crap. Verratti's ball. Oh... It's 3-1 now. This is getting stupid. Um, they've been the better side, taking nothing away from them. It's just these little annoying goals where you just feel like they could, you know, the first one, the mistake, the second one, goalkeeping error. This one from a corner where it's ricocheted around the box and it's in from Duarte. It's a good finish. He had to put it away. Emre Chan now coming on for PSG. We've got to be so careful that we don't end up... Bear in mind, the, the biggest defeat we've suffered the entire season was the 4-1 against Chelsea in the Cup, where we played a completely weakened team. Um... Planet is having a shocking time. I'm going to get him on. It has to be done. Um, oh, I don't know. Do we go control? Do we go counter for the last like ten minutes of this game? Oh shit! Come on, guys. You can get through this last ten minutes. You can. I know you can. 
Oh, I have a horrible feeling we're going to lose the ball in this situation here. Everton out wide now. We need support. There we go. No! Damn it. Nah, this is, they're going to win this game now. They're going to win. Malcolm's through. That's a goal. Great save from Gareth Frascoli. Again, they deserve probably to win this game. I think 4-1 would be a bit harsh. But then again, Masek now thumps it clear. I just don't know what to do at this point. Do we... Hang on. Let's be a bit more disciplined. Use tighter marking. Close that a bit less and try and keep that... Screw it. We're going to drop deeper as well. Um, we're going to... How do we time waste more? <laughs> I wish there was a... I don't know. Do we go defensive? Or is that just a little bit over overkill? Screw it. Last few minutes, we're just going to go defensive and see out these final two minutes if we can. Yes! I think we've done it, guys. There we go. 3-1 to PSG, but we are going to go through with the away goal from Fabio. Oh, that was incredibly dicey, but we've got through against probably the best side left in the competition. Um, and that is a huge deal if you're in my book right now. That is a massive, massive result for us. Fabio's got eight goals in the competition as well. We didn't deserve the win on the night and we didn't get it. But PSG are out thanks to their ineptitude uh, in the first game against us, which means next episode is going to be a double live com against, I assume, Real Sociedad, considering they won 4-0 in their first game. Uh, were there any other things? I've got to be... That's... Um, is there anything else I wanted to quickly talk about? Uh, actually, yeah. There was one more thing, because I heard people talking about this, and I just want to throw this out. I might put a straw poll in, actually, for this one. Some people have said that they didn't want the series to end when we won the Champions League, unless we'd won everything else. Now, I can sort of see where you're going with that, but at the same time, I also don't want the series to continue just indefinitely. You know what I mean? Um, uh, we're the only ones that have played. That's really strange. Um, so, oh, it's Wednesday for some reason. So, yeah, I didn't really want that to be the case. I didn't want it to be a situation where we we're just grinding for no apparent reason. But what I might suggest is, would you guys like to see me do an extra season after the year that we win the Champions League if we have yet to win the Premier League, League Cup and FA Cup? If we've won them already, then I won't. But would you like to see an extra year where we go and kind of go around and try and win all the stuff we haven't won? Uh, I might put a straw poll in. If not, then just let me know in the comments. Anyway, it's just an idea, basically, because I know uh, I'm enjoying this save at the moment a lot, and I hope you guys are as well. So there is uh, that. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. So, um... Next episode, of course, is going to be double live comm against either Sociedad or Leon. It feels like it's probably going to be Sociedad. Two games against them you guys are going to get to see. We've obviously got Swansea, Everton and Arsenal in the league in that time as well. And we'll finish things off in the next episode after that with either... Um, hmm. Unfortunately, it might just be one one game, um, but that's just how it's going to have to be at this point, isn't it? Because we might have the final after that if we get through. So if you have enjoyed this and the fact that we're into the semi-finals of the Europa League, do drop a like on the video. That'd be spectacular. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in your inbox every single day at seven o'clock. And I will join you guys in the next episode for a double live com header, a double header live com or whatever, of two games against either Sociedad or Leon to see if we can get to our first ever major final, which would be a massive deal for us. So I'll see you guys soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.